Good day, everyone, and welcome. Before we start, we have a disclosure. Please be aware of risk in the future may uh, trade in. Uh, today was a normal day. I like those kind of days where not too much excitement, uh, just a normal. The market was going up and down, normal, no, no confusion in the market. And uh, I like those kind of day where it's slow and a trending. Those are my favorite day. I don't like the extreme trending and I don't like when the market don't move at all. So today it was a very normal uh, day on the, and uh, now it's uh, three o'clock and uh, we're practically done. We only have a couple of charts open. Uh, the 30 year treasury bond is still on a trade and uh, it's uh, fixing to close the trades. Uh, uh, we're gonna start with the CL. The CL today also was trending nicely. This is the full range. Uh, it was done by 12.29 and uh, very nice for full range. Uh, the, the CL and the YM, they were really trending today. Then later on, the ES start picking up. On the CL 600 ticks, this one here for range, if you wanted to have a tight stop loss, uh, on the uh, CL 600 range, 600 uh, take, uh, did wonderful, uh, wonderful. Uh, we were done by before 11 o'clock also on the CL. The YM was trending very well today as well. Nice and smooth, one trade, two trade, three trade, four trade, and it was done 1800. And uh, the precision auto trade, this one here, it is uh, one of our latest uh, auto trade was released around six, seven months ago. It's doing extremely well, and it is a very friendly use, very powerful auto trade. It does not require filters. Uh, the entry is a really precise. That's why we called it the precision, because of the entry is really, really, really good. And uh, you can scalp it and swing trade it. NASDAQ, three minutes. Uh, CL, 12 range. Again, one and two, it was done uh, before 11 o'clock. Uh, we will take again the YM, the YM uh, two minutes, did very well. And uh, here is the NASDAQ, also 13.45 on a very tight, uh, uh, high, uh, smaller time frame uh, because of the holidays right now, there is no volume in there. So we we are our strategy is to go on a lower time frame, and uh, you can use a higher time frame if you want. And uh, if you look at the rest of these charts here, are only ES except this chart here is a YM on a five minutes, and uh, this is an example. And then if we uh, look at the ES, the three minute, uh, thirteen hundred, and he here it is. Uh, whether we are using the three minutes, this is another, is the same auto trade, but another template. Uh, 51 second ES, 28 second ES, 30 second ES, and 170 uh, take ES, and ES two minute. If you look beside the two minutes, the two minutes made uh, 2300. But if we look at the three minutes, three minutes, different template, 51 second, 28 second, 30 second, and 170 second, they all with the same range. Our daily target is 1000, and they're all on this range, 1300. So what I'm saying is, uh, it's not only the auto trade and the time frame, but also you can see, that even if you are using a, a different time frame, usually it is within the same range they're all uh, on a thousand dollar daily target if this market going to your direction is going to stay on that trade until the close so the one here made a 2300 it is also on one thousand uh, dollar daily target plus minus but what happened uh, it happened to be it just it happened to be the last trade took a beautiful uh, entry and it took a beautiful exit and that's why uh, it was uh, the thousand dollar daily target it was here but then the market was going further up and then it was to our favor 
uh, the EAS on 170 take uh, took advantage of the short time when we were on the other channel today. But also if we, we look how the auto trade took the reversal and start trading with the trend because the precision auto trade can take a trade with the trend and can take a reversal. And that was a beautiful reversal, beautiful reversal. And then took on the first pullback re-entry and, uh, and this is not a dummy. Uh, auto trade uh, like those uh, ATR is just a simple stupid move and average up and down uh, that that like this trade here uh, an ATR or MACDs they were never able to get those kind of trades you know and that's why it is the precision auto trade be, the name fit perfectly uh, for that auto trade uh, we want to uh, try to uh, cover uh, the TI7 the TI7 is a total different auto trade. It's nothing like the precision auto trade. The entry is different. The filters, there is a, a huge variety of entry and filters. And uh, on the precision auto trade, there is only one entry and one filter, and we don't even use that filter. Uh, before I bring the others, I want you to look at the uh, ES also to see this is a total different auto trade and also is still with the same range. And let me show you, this is very interesting. If, and this is a total different entry, total different trailing stop, stop loss, everything is different. And here is an ES 11 range, and it is a $1,000. Beautiful trades, there is nothing wrong. It's very tight stop loss, 11 range, did very well. Here is your one minute, 1,400. Here is your five minutes, 13. And you can see like the precision auto trade is all within this range 1300 eight range 1300 look at this and guess what on this one here on the precision auto trade the two minutes total different auto trade did 2375 this is a total different entry total different auto trade on the two minutes 2187 now, it does not mean the two minutes is better than the one minute or the five minutes of the range. It happened to be today movement fits perfectly uh, with the two minutes. And that's why you can see there is more. It could be tomorrow eight range, could be tomorrow 14 second. But you can see all of them within the same range because of the market movement. And, um, and the 14 second did very well, the 14 second, and it was done by 10 o'clock and uh, started around 9.30. I usually start around 9.30, started at 9.30, and if you, if you see the 14 second didn't have any losing trade, and that's what we are aiming at. And actually, uh, even at daytime, I didn't, uh, I didn't have it at daytime, I have it at 9.30, took the first trade, second trade, third trade, and I don't, uh, I'm not sure we got that trade. I think we got that trade first because we started around 9.30. So this is was the first trade, second, third, and fourth. Not even one losing trade. If we look at the 14 second, this is a very, very amazing chart and a very consistent once this market trending. So let's look at uh, the other uh, instruments. Uh, I'm not going to bring them all. We'll take uh, some snapshot out of the others. Uh, the other instruments also did well. Uh, the NASDAQ 20, 38 second, uh, 1590. Uh, this one here, the CL 55 second, right on the target, 1000. And uh, this one here, the NASDAQ two minutes, uh, 1200 barely and uh, the YM 26 seconds you can see the smaller time frame uh, is, is gonna do well from uh, now after the Thanksgiving because the volume is going to be low uh, I want to mention two charts here we only have one chart on the DAX which I've been using for many months the four months uh, the four minute DAX and uh, that's the only one I use, and this is very consistent, so I don't have any other DAX, but it's just showing you 
for the DAX trader today on the other channel uh, did 4,600. Actually, that trade was uh, a little bit over 7,000. And uh, I'll let it be uh, to see if it goes further. But then the ES turn around. I know it has nothing to do with the ES, but uh, the DAX followed the ES. Um, I mean, they are from two different planets, but they practically move the same way. And you can predict the DAX if you keep your eye on the ES during the European hours. So, <clears throat> Uh, uh, the DAX and other things I want to mention also on the other channel we did today uh, when we go online. The NASDAQ, we have some, uh, we have two clients wanted to trade Renko on it. And I, I'm not a Renko uh, uh, guy, everybody knows that. And we are using a Just Ninja Trader Renko. And on that chart here uh, on the other channel, the first round made 1800 the second round made 1400 something and then the third round uh, made 1400 something but i find the nine renko from the one from ninja trader is a very fast and maybe if you want to use it on the nasdaq because one of our client is using this uh, on the uh, mini uh, on the micro uh, nasdaq but I find it very fast and you can get overfilled very fast because it's a, it's a very fast uh, for the NASDAQ. So if you want to use Ninja Trader Renko, uh, I think, I think in my opinion, uh, you should go up to 18 or 20 on the Renko bar. Uh, this entry here is from the TI7. Uh, the TI7 have a three different scalper. Uh, two reversal B scalper and that symmetry reversal and this is you can uh, clean it uh, very well and uh, and uh, and what it does it to reverse the market and take the trades and actually I use it uh, for my manual trade as well can I predict for you uh, why uh, the Renko I'm showing the Renko because uh, I use the Renko for reversal and uh, of course a different setting than this auto trade but this is can really pinpoint uh, where um, uh, you can smooth it a lot you know so you don't have that many signal you can smooth it to four or five signals only so it depends on the setting but this one here is a very busy uh, signal is taking every bumper as a default setting but if you go ahead and adjust it uh, instead of having one, two, three, four, five trades, you can have them all in one trade. So uh, depends how you want to set it up, and uh, it is a very powerful, and it does not require any filter because what it what it is doing is uh, doing a reversal. You know, out of a curiosity, let me show you uh, how we can clean it. Uh, but let me uh, try to for the ones who don't know where is the rank of for Ninja Trader. Uh, you go here where it says minute. And you put but let me see if we put it on 18 it's out of a curiosity i've been wanting to do this all day long and look this is much more a uh, little bit more settled and then if we if we go ahead and uh, i, I want to show you how much we can clean out of that and uh, if i want to set it i can uh, also and make it less noisy and take less trade and then adjust it uh, the trade and stop stop loss i can really clean out very much of those uh, reversal signal by readjusting it one click readjusting it and if you look now it's gonna come and you can see uh, it's been adjusted and it's not busy anymore and you can see how well behave and it's not crowded anymore and this is really amazing and then what it does is a self-adjusted uh, that it's not gonna need a filter but at the same time um, uh, it will not take a trade until it's been confirmed so this is a very brilliant uh, to do that it depends on the market movement so it's not a, just a dummy uh, indicator it depends on the speed of the market and the movement if you notice that's why sometimes on the nasdaq is gonna react a couple bars late 
but let's say if we're gonna go ahead and uh, put it on a normal ES is going to react differently uh, because uh, the the ES uh, is a slower uh, paced and and uh, this is uh, very complex uh, before the auto trade uh, is about to take a trade and and what it does it take reversal and uh, maybe on the ES we don't need uh, to use uh, 18 Renko only for the Nasdaq because the Nasdaq move fast as an example you can put uh, four or six Renko and that should be good for the ES and there we go uh, you know this is six Renko and if you wanted to uh, really pinpoint <clears throat> uh, you can also go much slower uh, if you want to but then you have to adjust the trailing stop and stop loss is not adjusted here the trailing stop and stop loss is adjusted for Nasdaq it's not adjusted for ES but uh, you can really uh, you can see uh, you can do a lot to it and um, uh, of course needs to be adjusted because uh, the trailing stop and stop loss it is for the Nasdaq so you can see you're missing out a lot because the trailing stop on the Nasdaq is a total different setting than the NAS the, the ES the Nasdaq have 100 tick this one here have only five ticks so you need to break even and hit the target so but you can see you can make it less noisy and then you can reverse uh, the market and uh, when the market is trending you really can nail the trends and this is a really amazing uh, and this is uh, in TI7 uh, you have uh, 10 different uh, uh, entry and uh, I don't know maybe around 10 different uh, reversal today I was surprised uh, we have another auto trade uh, called the scalper and I was really surprised because the scalper was taking a swing trading and that is amazing because uh, the scalper is a scalp in the market and when the market is trending it's going to turn around to swing trading automatically and let me show you some of the trades I was very impressed by it today let me show you also uh, beside the uh, TI7 and the precision auto trade look this is a tot total different auto trade than the other two and this is a scalping and it can go swing, uh, swing trading as well but mainly scalping we use it for scalping it is called a scalper anyway and look at this the ES is on five range this is a total different time frame total different auto trade and it is the same range 1350 uh, we still have one trade on the gold six range also the gold today was all, all of them are on the same ranges you know the Nasdaq four range 1100 uh, ES eight range look is around the 1300 again and this is scalping eight range still the same and if you notice this is what the trade it was the perfect trade and that's what made the auto trade close ES 595 look at this within 1300 range so I have showed you three different auto trades totally different auto trades different entry different filters and they're all with the same range that can give us one it depends on the market movement your auto trade have effect on the performance of course there is a disaster auto trades out there less like an ATR or some stupid indicator it's just a black box don't, don't have any uh, I mean uh, an auto trade should be friendly use and uh, should be efficient not just a friendly use and not efficient um, we have uh, very complex auto trades as well like the institutional and it is a huge and sometimes we bump into problems because it's so big so what I'm saying is uh, this is a very simple no filter required and it's still the same uh, range within the 1300 very friendly use like the precision auto trade it takes you probably a couple days to learn it like the precision auto trade very simple but very efficient and if we look at the entries also I like this because this is what has been in the trading 
sadly most of those guys auto trade or they sell the auto trade uh, they cannot uh, trade a paperback they don't understand how trades goes they're just marketing uh, for the last 27 years folks there is one thing stayed in the market and never did go away a lot of smart things came into the market for the last 27 years and uh, I have seen a lot you know the last 27 years but uh, one thing stayed is pull back re-entry confirm a trend this is after research with books CDs everything you think of the only thing still working from day one until today from the first day I was told about it until today the only thing works in the trading identify trend pull back re-entry even when I'm using fib lines because I, I like to trade between fib lines and all this also pull back re-entry confirm this is the most success strategy for a trade and and uh, moving averages plus minus when when the market is above a moving average like an ATR uh, take a trade long and when it's below the moving average it takes short those are dummy indicators and uh, what happened when you are trending you are okay but when the market is uh, uh, start flattening out you can lose all your money so this is a uh, uh, something is about the pullback re-entry uh, it's been for many years and it is the, until now uh, for the last 27 years all what I can see is the most success is identified trend pullback re-entry for a manual trade and, and uh, you know uh, study your levels so whether you are using a smaller time frame or a big time frame is irrelevant you always trade with levels even if you are auto trading I know auto traders they don't like that but for me I don't uh, I prefer uh, something even when I'm trading on a smaller uh, time frame or on a bigger time frame even if I'm auto trading or manual trading it is always uh, it, it is always an advantage to understand if we are trading and the market is pulling back where is the probability this market is gonna land or is gonna keep going so those things here have a big impact on your trading performance uh, sadly you cannot ask a guy uh, auto trader for the last uh, 15 years in the public <coughs> you cannot activate uh, a guy want to auto trade to look at FIPS I, I failed to to uh, to uh, get him to to look at the fib levels or to look at the market and um, no matter what you do no matter how you try uh, they still uh, uh, not interested looking at the technical chart somehow but uh, for the guys they uh, they do I'm sure there is a few exception um, it does not hurt to put your fib lines uh, on your auto trades because can give you uh, when there is a resistance or when there is a support then you say okay you know what I'm gonna build out of it I got 400 I got 300 I got 100 and I see there is a resistance area and then I will go ahead and close that position on an auto trade so for me it is a little bit more than that but uh, this is what, I, what it is you know that's life so the the the, the if we look at the uh, also the CL5 range they are doing very well and uh, pull back re-entry pull back re-entry on the CL and it's been winning all day long on the CL YM5 minutes is the same story pull back re-entry on the YM290 the, it, it is the same story and then on the CL535 takes pull back re-entry pull back re-entry and uh, that's why I said at the beginning today was a very smooth ride not too much movement very normal movement uh, and I love those days not too slow not too fast and the market is trending slowly and then you can get filled as nicely and uh, those are actually my favorite days
Uh, the last is uh, we have five different automated trade based on the signal and uh, today on the other channel we called a couple of trades on the on that one here on that system that system is totally different than the scalper and the ti7 and uh, the uh, the uh, ti7 the precision auto trade and the scalper this is a total different auto trade and have five different automated trade pullback re-entry on the first level second level resistant uh, support and then uh, can uh, take the signal so right now based on the last entry signal it's not the whole day the last entry signal for today we got 836 ticks based on one contract we don't have to trade all of it you can trade ES as an example ES got 69 ticks uh, Nasdaq got 381 ticks based on one contract and the YM got 150 takes based on one contract. So you don't have to trade all of them. If you have more money, you can add whatever you want to add. But if you have a, just a normal uh, size or amount, you can trade also the micro account with it. And you can trade the ES, NASDAQ, Dow Jones. You can take one and one and one. The advantage on each auto trade have an, an advantage and disadvantage. On this kind of auto trade, if you want to auto trade, there is five different automated trades in there. And um, pullback re-entry, ATM, and an ATM strategy, uh, and uh, fully automated. The things is with this is uh, for those advanced people, you can hatch the market. The signal fires here. You can see on the other channel when we are tra going live. And uh, you can see the signal fire right there. And, uh, and uh, then you can take it manually or auto trade or you can use your own ATM with it or you can use our ATM, the ones always moving with the trailing stop. The trailing stop is based on fib line. It's not a, just a dummy trailing stop. And this is a combination of a man wanted to have the auto trade taking a trade and then you can put uh, like uh, this is the same uh, auto trade but this one here is based on one minute and now uh, we have another one is based on 15 second uh, let me try to show you to you this one here is based on a 15 second and uh, if we look under the Russell uh, here is the Russell uh, I have two contract here 220 here is one contract is 125 and the thing is this one here also uh, you can I'm using the fib line as a trailing stop and as you see right now is hitting the target uh, this is another example for the ES when the system took an ES trade on the scalp in 15 second right now we have base on the last entry signal 600 takes on the last entry signal and this is uh, 15 second so there is a lot of signals and those signals they're not older than like maybe five minutes or ten minutes max max maybe six minutes and you can see you can auto trade this market analyzer and then you can use uh, the fib line if you want to uh, for a trailing stop or and this is another example before let me show you on the ES took that trade uh, the entry was 4691 and it is $75 I'm using two contract you can use one contract two contract ten contract whatever you want and look at this this is really interesting if you see you are in a trade and it's obvious you can see how uh, the ES is struggling to break that line. That's an indication if you want for those guys that want to be consistent. This is an, an option for this guy to say, okay, we're having a problem. Maybe I want to take this $150 away or the $50 or the $200. So there is, this is uh, something I enjoy a lot because this is a total different uh, automated trade than this one here. Uh, because this one here uh, is a combination between a human and an auto trade uh, it does work automatically taking the trade and all this but the things is when you are looking at it uh, things can be different when you are uh, putting the level the trading stop 
uh, the fibs, uh, then you can say, okay, you know what, you know, you, you know, then you can, it's always uh, for the last 15 years, uh, I find uh, the, the combination between a human and machine in general, uh, they are a silver bullet. So what I'm trying to say, a combination of an auto trade, a good auto trade, technical auto trade with a good technical guy or a little experience, not uh, knowing all the price action, but a little knowledge about the market, when the market is flat, when the market is chop, when the market is trending, you have to know all those, you know. And then uh, uh, for the last 15 years, I find the combination of a human with an auto trade, it is a really silver bullet because the auto trade taking the motions away but we still have to drive it. We still have to fly it. We still have to understand what is the turbulence when there is a problem. Should we fly over this fogs or go under those, uh, you know, clouds? So, you know, it's always, always nice to combine uh, the, the, the technical or the mechanical with the human, uh, you know, and then, uh, uh, and then, uh, uh, that is can build a consistency. Uh, you're not at the mercy of the market, especially from now till the end of this year. It will not be any performance, whether you are a manual trading or an auto trading. Once the Thanksgiving is coming, I, I normally uh, start closing everything uh, I have for the whole year, closing positions, you know, and I'm not interested in on any kind of uh, uh, long trade or short day trading but um, uh, only after the thanksgiving uh, you you turn off your life account and then you only use your life account when you see something is very attractive extremely attractive like when the market is moving what you are going <coughs> to experience <coughs> excuse me you gotta see uh, after your thanksgiving which is started now started now started this week you're gonna see this market spikes and move for a couple of three minutes and dies out and then it's gonna maybe in the afternoon it's gonna start moving for a couple of three minutes and and then dies out and here is the problem if you are not aware of that and you start at 9 30 and the market is starting normal i mean there's no excitement in there and your auto trade is not tuned enough uh, you're gonna be in a, in a big hole uh, before your auto trade experience a good trending, and probably uh, you're gonna be stopped out uh, because we don't know when it's going to spike that market. It could be 9:30, could be 10:30, could be 11:30, or it could be uh, in the afternoon. We don't know, and and uh, and uh, I think. Uh, if you are not uh, profitable in the market, and my strong, I strongly advise you to turn off your life account for now. Uh, no matter what system you are using, I'm not talking about my system. Take my advice. Uh, I've been dealing with the, the students for 15 years, and we've seen it all. We've seen the nightmare, and we've seen success. And. Um, if you are not a profitable trader, turn off your life account now. It doesn't matter what system you are using. Rearm yourself, train yourself on a sim, because from now on until the end of this year, if you still have some money in your account, you're going to smoke it out and you're going to have a bad Christmas. If I was you, get ready as a soldier, get trained, Turn off your life account, stay on a sim, get trained, trying to see what's going on in the market, be patient, protect yourself, and, uh, and uh, get ready uh, to, to be stronger uh, trader uh, after New Year Eve. Uh, and uh, this is uh, the advice I give to everyone. It doesn't matter what system you are using. Um, if you are not profitable, um, that's, that's mean you're not looking at the market. You're just looking at P&L, simple as that. That's our experience showing people just look in P&L and they are at the mercy of the market movement. Normally they don't get off the ground. 
So that's why we are paying attention for training. It is very important not to just send in you a couple recorded video how to optimize. It is very important to look at this market uh, before you turn on your auto trade every morning, which it takes you five minutes, 10 minutes of your time. It is very important, very crucial uh, for you. And guys, I'm not sure I'm going to be able to, to go live on Thursday or Friday maybe. We're going to call it off till uh, next week. But um, if I don't come out with a video in the evening, I, I want to wish to everyone uh, a happy uh, Thanksgiving uh, to you and your family. And uh, we will uh, we'll, uh, we'll continue next week. And, um, uh, and uh, please try to protect yourself, uh, you know. And uh, Dawn, again, please, please have a nice holiday. Think about holidays and uh, don't use life money if you don't know what you're doing. Uh, enjoy your Christmas. Enjoy your Thanksgiving. Eat as much as you can. Stay away from trading. Turn on your sim. Come back. Get ready as a full soldier, trained soldier. Next month, just bang on this market, on the sim. Protect whatever left in your account if you're not a profitable trader. I want to say thank you very much and God bless you all. And uh, I don't know if I will be here tomorrow or not, uh, but uh, uh, we wish you happy Thanksgiving. Bye for now.